So I want you to make a full guide to grinding. I see a lot of people grind wrong, and I want to fix that. I will show you the ultimate way to grind cash and hyper chromes out of scene rates, and teach you the updated best steps time and the best players know. This will be my last ever guide, so let's get right into it. Most people grind for money to buy all vehicles, or to get cash in the millions, but there's also hyper chrome grinding. Robin stores as fast as possible to get the robbery bonus. The purpose is to get as many robberies as possible, while sacrificing cash for the robbery bonus. What I do is combine both of these together to get as much cash and hyper crumbs as possible. So let's go into it. The most important tip I can give you right away is to use a good vehicle, primarily the Volt bike. This vehicle reigns supreme for grinding. It's almost impossible to miss robberies. You'll see a difference right away. It has the best launch in the game and can off-road very well. Once you master this vehicle, it is practically impossible to be stopped. You can play C4 on it to move even faster too. It is unmatched and no vehicle can, can come close to what it can provide. If you don't have the Volt bike, you can also use the Roadster. It is the second best vehicle to grind with. It has a lot of acceleration and good speed too. I highly recommend this vehicle. If you're just starting out, you can use a Dune Buggy. This vehicle is pretty fast at acceleration and it can climb up things pretty easily. Or you can just use any vehicle if you want. You don't have to use the Volt bike, but I just really highly recommend it. Oh yeah, did you know you can spawn the Volt bike? You should definitely get the Pro Garage if you want to grind long term. I know it costs Robux, but it's the only game pass you truly need. Being able to spawn the Volt bike is really good. You cannot rob the train or plane without it, so I highly recommend buying it. Now let's get into actual robin. The first store we'll cover is the J store. This robbery is the easiest to rob and you should focus on the most. There's a lot of glitches we can do to speed up this robbery. Sadly the quick rob has been patched so we cannot do it anymore. I've tried many times and there's no consistent way to do it. So the best we have to do is just rob for 500. The more time you spend in the J store, the less time you have to rob other stores. You'll see this trend in a lot more robberies. But do you know you can rob the J store multiple times? Yeah, we can completely break this robbery and rob it up to seven times. This is the real reason why diamond is the easiest type of chrome. If you see one of these gem floors, you can grab it and rob it again. Do this over and over again, and you'll get pity really fast. If you want to spot a gem floor from the outside, look for this lollipop at the top, or these two lasers at the top either. Do keep in mind you need somebody in the robbery for it to stay open. I recommend an alt account, or you can get somebody to grind with you. Just make sure when it's your turn, you stay in the building too. Doing this ensures that it won't close when you're trying to do this. Also, here are some extra tips you should know. In this computer room, you can simply jump in the monitor and go in the glass to just skip the whole entire thing. You can also check for campers by just going on this crate and checking outside. Anyways, that's it for the J-Storm. It's pretty easy to master, and by far the easiest to get a hyper crumb from. Anyways, if you want a level 5, this is the store to definitely get it from.
next robbery will go over is the museum. There's some tips you might not know from before. Normally you have to do the puzzle. But that's a waste of time, honestly. Also, you can get bad randoms to not do the puzzle at all. This is why I recommend doing this glitch that we can do. If I spawn and pick up at the top, we can drive into the museum. He wants to get out before it drops. If you do it correctly, you can rob the museum in literally three seconds. You can also do the banana car, which is way easier, and you don't have to jump out. If you want to get 10 kilograms, follow this route. Grab the lantern, and then the picture on the wall. Then grab the dino egg. Then I go on the top of the dinosaur to get this bone up here. And that's it. Notice how my volt bike is right by the ladder. This is a very good habit to pick up on. I often see many people who drop their volt bike over here. That can take a long time to get your vehicle from. This is why I drive my volt bike all the way around. Most likely turn back most of the time. Also, if you're late to the museum, you should get 10 kilograms over here. And if you thought you're going to the volcano base, you have been robbing the museum wrong. You should actually go to the power plant instead, so you can stack two of them together. Doing this make sure that you don't have to drive back to the power plant. It's the most efficient way to grind the two robberies together. We're all near the pipe. Yes, I'm using the Proto 8. I can have fun sometimes. Now that we're here, you actually don't want to turn in right away. You want to drop a museum bag first and then turn in the power plant first. Just to make sure you don't get it together. Don't turn them at once or you won't get both spins. Do it too fast and get kicked by the anti-cheat. Just like that, we stack two robberies together. Now let's go over the last city robbery you need to master. There's only one thing you need to know about the bank, and that's how to use C4. When used properly, you'll stop anybody in your tracks. Watch how this experienced cop tries to kill me. When used properly, you'll literally become unstoppable. Here are some example spots to put your C4 on the wall, on top of the wall. Behind a corner. And you can hit people behind walls too. That's pretty much how you use C4 perfectly. Now let's get into more tips you should know. For example, you can flint lock over this corridor jump. The trick is to use your flint lock before you jump. You should also time your own deductions. You can also jump out of blue by using this jump on the wall. Anyways, that's it for the bank. The bank isn't that hard. You should rob it as your top priority. It also puts you right back out in the city. Another robbery can do that, and that's why it's a unique robbery that you should focus on. Anyways, let's get into the next robbery. Next, we'll go over moving robberies. These robberies you have to catch while also robbing other stores. Particularly train is hard because there's two different pities. 
I mean, you're basically doing two different robberies if you want to get a hyper chrome from. I mean, obtaining pity is a lot harder than normal. But I found ways to master the train to make it as easy as possible. First off, you should rob it from the outside. By opening the door at the top and then breaching the vault from the top, you can actually rob it from the outside. I recommend going on the left as it's way easier to do. And just like that, we grab 125 and dip. Also, make sure it doesn't work on this train. The one with the chain doors doesn't work and you have to rob it from the inside. Also, I recommend robbing the train at the train station. It's very important to keep vehicle cool down, as you can spawn vehicles and do glitches like the museum. And once you get better, you can rob it as it's moving pretty far out on the map. Imagine robbing this without Pro Garage, by the way, and why keeping the vehicle cooldown is just as important. Also, you can rob the passenger train from the back. Just like that, spawn the vehicle at the very edge, and we're out. If you want the train to always stop at the train station, flip these levers. The one to the right by the train station. It's like the one to the left by the museum. Anyways, let's go over the last move and robbery we need to go over. It turns out you can actually clip into the plane. This means you don't have to arrive when it's landing. You can actually arrive when it's taken off. Doing this allows you to rob stuff while it's landing. It's actually a lot more useful than you might think. As if this wasn't a thing, I don't think I would catch plane at all. For example, I was really far out from this plane robbery. I was actually all the way at Casino. You can also stack power plant and plane together if you time it correctly. This is useful if somebody's trying to rob the power plant while plane is coming. If you're not confident, turn the power plant first, and then turn the crate. If you want to get out as soon as possible, simply parachute and unrelease it and then take fall damage. This allows you to spawn your vehicle way faster. Also, if you don't have a key, make sure to check all crates. This is always a key guarantee to one of these crates. This is useful if you want to rob the bank. Now let's get to filler robberies. These are robberies you want to do after you rob all these stores. They'll most likely be open and take a while to rob, so you should not prioritize these. You should already know that Tome is never started. It takes three people to start the robbery. I mean, you need two other people constantly with you to start it. This is why I recommend grinding with two other people. Time your jumps and can easily do the obby. If you get good enough, you can start using a sword with it too. And make sure to always jump by the bridge. Make sure you don't kill anybody. And there's a glitch we can do to save like two seconds of time. Anyways, that's it for the tome robbery. There's really nothing special about it. It's hard to get two people to start the robbery than it is to get the hyper chrome from it. Now let's go for the last robbery you need to know. This robbery is casino, and you should only rob it after robbing museum and power plant. This is because it puts you right next to the casino, making a perfect opportunity to rob it. I see a lot of people struggling to rob the casino, so I'll go over how to do it as quickly as possible. And if you want to find the code, follow this route. I checked the code over here by the wall. Check the code by the blue wall.
Nothing over here, so I check over here. I check behind the desk to the right. Look to my left, see nothing. Check to the right real quick, see nothing. So I'm gonna go over here, check this corner over here. See nothing. Check over here, see nothing either. Sometimes it can be a coder here, so I'm gonna check that real quick too. Nothing, that means it's definitely over here. See nothing, so that can only mean one thing, and that's at the top of the wall. I go to security and do the monitors like this to the left. Get these two monitors over here. And just like that, we can go in a straight line so we get it. I said to do security as fast as possible. If you want to stop cops from going to the casino, place C4 on the door to the wall. It'll stop anybody from coming in. Also, always make sure to open the glass to the left. If you're fast enough, you can make it before it even respawns. Also, make sure to go onto the roof. It's much faster than going to the ground, even with a longer wait time. Congrats, you know how to master every robbery in the game. You may know how to rob stores properly, but you don't know how to rob them efficiently. You should first know what a server happened. People usually think they are supposed to grind one server, but it turns out you can rob in like 20 servers. You can focus on one robbery by just server hopping. I mean you can focus all your time on one robbery. Certain robberies like Tome and Museum are always open, as they have a play requirement to open them. I mean if you have two other people, you can just open up Tome like crazy. Basically just join a server and rob a store and leave. I only recommend doing this if you want to grind one store. Grinding a small server is crazy too. This is no cops. Less crimps to grief your robbery routing. And open robberies all the time. I used to be able to play in one player servers with nobody else with me. But now it's a lot harder to do that. And trust me, you'll never see me grind in a private server. I cannot also stress how much it is important to bring a sword. You move so much faster using it. You can also spam unequip and equip it. The amount of speed you can build up is insane. And you'll see me pass people like crazy using it. I also see people with hundreds of millions not use this weapon, and I don't know why. They could have easily gotten way more money if they just had this thing equipped on them. So be sure to use the new roll mechanic like crazy. It's basically a free sword proc. to move through Robbie's like crazy now. You should also know to stack power plane with other robberies. You aren't limited to just museum with the power plant uranium. You can also rob stuff like train, J store and more. As shown here, I'm robbing the power plant like normal, right? I'm gonna check my map and see that the train is coming by. If I turn the power plant first, I'm gonna have to catch the train really late. So I actually catch the train with the uranium on me. Then this will allow me to get to casino. I just bump into a car, like I don't know. You 
You should also know how to hold robberies. This is very useful for one of your friends is really far behind. Make sure the store doesn't close on them, and they'll do the same thing for you. Also, be commenting over some gameplay if you want to see how I grind. I'll be showing you how to grind so fast. First, I'll start off with bank, because I have a key card. If there's one store to prioritize, it is definitely the bank. I chose a small store as there's no cops in it. And I have one of my friends in the server. Make sure to friend a lot of good people. You want to be grinding with people to open museum a lot. I always have like seven people online in Geobrick if I ever want to grind. I'll grab 100 and leave as I don't want to full rob it. Go out from the front. Keep rolling like that. Sure your store is open, so I'm gonna rob that next. It's right next to the bank. I'm gonna go to the top floor. Somebody's gonna punch him. Grab 500. I'm not gonna stay any longer. My avatar is not short, so I have to go over here. Hitless, still going. Not hitless through the laser, that's bad. I'm gonna roll over to the vault. All planes on the map, but I'm gonna catch that, and I don't know why I did that. Yeah, I'm gonna go to a plane 100% now. I'm definitely going to go to the museum after this. Someone left the server, that's really good. And there we go, museum just opened. Key, that's really good. Spawn my vault. It's kind of slow, honestly. I'm trying to find a roadster. This is the fast way to get the museum from playing. Use the seal over here. Now because I just did plane, I won't have vehicle cooldown. Force you to do the puzzle, so I'm not gonna grab 10 kilograms. Messed up the puzzle because I'm rusty. <laughs> Boom, I see them on the map, so I already know they're over here. I'm gonna go to power plant. Spawn my vehicle, it's slightly faster. Should grab my own vault. Messed up the tunnel route. Drop 
a museum bag. Turn power plant first. And definitely go to Christina after this. Someone joined just left, like I don't know. Train just spawned, but I don't know why my teammates are going over there. We should definitely go to Casino first. I want to catch train as late as possible. So I'm just going to find the code. Mansion's open, I don't care about that. Code's definitely over there. Yep. I'm 36 done. Security. Type it in chat. Just let them know. Boom, got it. Left like normal. Make sure to utilize your rolls. And because I didn't choose the rob train, I'm just gonna grab 500. I would normally full rob it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go train to bank right after. It's 100% the right path. I'm gonna go to the right this time to keep on vehicle. Turns out I was already robbed, so I'm just gonna grab it from here. Boom. I'm trying to find my vault. It's over here. I'm trying my best to be able to spawn a vehicle if I can for museum. It is the mint. Choose that this way. I know a shortcut to make it slightly faster. If I don't take damage, it might be faster. I'm gonna spawn my vehicle. And I'm going to J Store if I don't bump the goddamn wall. Boom, 500. I don't know what this other guy's doing. I'm pretty sure he's in casino. Easy J Star. I'm on yellow HP. That's pretty great. Nailed it, even with my thick avatar. Ah. Uh, should definitely do museum. It should open or be open. Yep. And planes on the map. I'm gonna do this just to get there slightly faster.
Got 10 kilograms. Nah, I actually don't want it. I actually want to catch plane, actually. I don't know what's happening. Please let me out. Yeah, it's just not the best idea. Checking the map. I can definitely stack power in the museum. Nope, I cannot. We could. Just looking on the map. Nah, we, we definitely could have done it. Unfortunate. It means power plant is going to open up later than normal. Anyways, I hope you get the gist of what I used to grind. And I hope you find the gameplay useful. I don't see many people show gameplay in public servers. They just go in private servers and tell you to do this and this. That's most often not the case when you're in a public server. And public servers are better to grind in anyways. Anyways, let me know how useful you find this to be. This will be my last ever guide. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.